In this video, I talk about the importance of knowing how to and practicing kayak re-entry, whether you're on your own or with a friend. In this scene, I'm trying to execute a surf launch on my kayak, but the water is deeper than I thought. I have to propel myself onto the kayak, onto my belly, then roll back into my seat, grab my paddle, and paddle away before this giant wave hits me. Well, it's not a giant wave, but the people in the shore thought I was going to get wiped out. So I was lucky. In this scene, my friend Kenny and I are kayak fishing. However, a wave hits him, he's not expecting it, and he falls into the ocean. He's lucky, I'm there to help him. However, he's unlucky because he had his cell phone in a plastic bag which is now in the bottom of the ocean. And on top of that, he lost one of my favorite fishing rods. So I'm gonna kill him after I help him back into the kayak. To help him back on, I hold the other end of the kayak while he tries to climb on from the other side. He's tired and cold though from the cold water of the ocean, and he falls back in the ocean. So I have to help him again. Hopefully these scenes show you the importance of knowing how to do a kayak re-entry. So in this scene, I have my friend Kenny again nearby, okay, we're we close go. to shore, in protected waters in Marblehead Harbor, and I'm gonna practice kayak re-entry. I jump into the ocean, and I try to swim close by to my kayak. I grab my hold of my kayak with my two arms, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to propel my body parallel to the ocean surface, and then with a, with a strong kick, I'm hoping to beach my body onto the kayak with my belly on the chair, on, on, the, on the seat. However, it's harder than I thought. Uh, the other end of the kayak keeps on flipping up. I'm afraid it might hit my face or hit my head. In this scene, I actually end up flipping the kayak upside down. So it's harder than I thought, and I'm actually in the water almost a minute now. Uh, the water's cold, and I tell my friend Kenny to stay close by, but to hold off as well. Uh, I want to try to practice doing this on my own so I know how to do it. So with this last kick, I'm finally able to do it. I'm able to kick myself with a strong kick. I made sure that my, my head and my face uh, went over the other end of the kayak so that my chest and my belly set, landed on the, the, the seat. That helped stabilize things. And then I rolled back into my seat and then kept myself upright. Luckily, I was able to practice this. Um, I'm glad I did because think about it. If I ever have to do this, if I'm on my own or if I'm in water that's rough, or if I'm nearby boat traffic, I think it's important to have this skill. So if you go kayak fishing or go kayaking in general, try to get a friend who's experienced, don't get Kenny, but get a friend who's experienced to go out there and show you how it's done and let you practice with him or her nearby. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I've got other kayak fishing videos on my YouTube channel. Hopefully you can enjoy watching those as well. If you like this, please click like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching.